parents, with children, brothers, sisters, grandparents and grandchildren, aunts and uncles, all together, um, husbands and wives, you get the idea, a family, okay? Flame and, but, um, and that's, there's three levels of that family. So the family, of our family, our personal family, but also the family of Flame Tree. So us as brothers and sisters in God and, and as friends, and then also the greater family, that is the world, really. You know, those people who are out there that, that we want to embrace as, as our family. So those, those levels of family and, and the love. And um, what I had a vision with our families of all those levels was a flash mob. Okay, so some of you may or may not know what a flash mob is. Um, but what it is, is a, it's a public performance amongst an unsuspecting crowd that becomes the audience as the performers sing and dance. And as the performers join in from wherever they randomly are into that public space. So if you've never seen a flash mob, Google flash mob and there's lots of videos of flash mobs. So what I'm wanting to do is have a flash mob with Flame Tree. All of you singing and dancing. <coughs> so I had to... <laughs> so. I had, I'm not a singer or a dancer, so I called on, on, on help. But before that, I actually, I thought, I need to really have a song. So, this, so, and I wanted a song because we're going to be out in the world. I wanted to have a song that would, um, people would recognise, it would be upbeat, that they would, you know, want to clap their hands, sing along, move along to. And, and that it was meaningful and that it was of God. So I selected the song, I Will Follow Him from Sister Act, the finale of Sister Act, and you're all nodding, and like us all know, everybody knows it, and the movie, in the movie you've got Whoopi Goldberg, crazy Whoopi Goldberg is a nightclub owner, a uh, performer, and, uh, and she's chased by the mob and she ends up in a convent and, um, you know, uh, and basically gets drawn in, she gets drawn in, and that's what I'm that's what I want to embrace, that she's drawn in as those who will be watching us will be drawn in and, um, and becomes the choir master and ends up performing for the Pope. Now, I don't know that we'll be performing for the Pope, but <laughs> I hope that we get some, some audience anyway. Um, and so I'm thinking that when we perform this, um, and we're going to be doing it at Woolloomooloo um, on the 3rd of June, at the, next to the loo with a view there, that, um, Malulaba. Malulaba. I suppose say that, don't I? Yeah. Now we're all going to catch a plane, go to Sydney. Oh, I'm there. Oh, my job. <laughs> Sorry. I'm from Sydney. Malulaba. No, Malulaba. Malulaba. Not Malulaba. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> so there's the icebreaker. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, and, um, yeah, and I anticipate that people will recognise the song, they'll remember the story, and they'll, they'll kind of join in and clap along and watch. So I can't sing your dance, and so I needed um, someone with those skills, so I called on Christine Conson, who is going to be our choir master. Uh, where is she? Extraordinaire. Where is she? She's somewhere coming. Come on, Christine. Hey. <laughs> and a lot of people know her as the famous um, leader of the carols. <laughs> and, um, and I shared Christine the idea that I had, the vision and the song. And she just said, yes, straight away, one sentence, and she was in, which was great. So then I needed dancing help, and so I called on Lorraine Baisley. And I told her the vision and the song, and she said, yes, I'm in. So I was kind of in. I had no choice anymore. And so with Christine and um, a group of singers, we created, um, a, um, recorded a song, recorded the song, our own version of the song. And, um, and with some dancers, we choreographed a dance to go with it. And um, I'd like to show that to you now on video. If we can start the music. Now it's a short, just before, it's a short snippet, so it kind of stops quite suddenly. It's not the whole thing, but just to give you a taste. It's really simple. It's really simple.
For the choir, we'd like to invite everybody that was in the Christmas carols choir, but also every person in our church. We're not asking you to be a grand singer, just have a heart to sing, or if you'd rather dance. So um, 